Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing an activity bag video. We are getting ready to leave for Disneyland. We are leaving tomorrow morning, bright and early at 5 a.m. to drive there and it's about a nine hour drive for us. So I have some activity bags for my younger kids and I thought I would share with you guys what's in them. Um, these bags are for my one and a half year old Miles and then my five and a half year old Emma. And then I do have a few things that I picked up for my 11 year old daughter. My older kids are kind of just bringing their own things. They have their backpacks that they'll have like a book or homework or their phones. They pretty much just are on their phones watching movies. They get like Netflix and YouTube and stuff on their phones. So they'll probably just pretty much be on their phones the whole trip or sleeping since we're leaving so early. So I'm not showing the stuff they bring because they're older and they just kind of do their own thing. So, and then along with the stuff for my 11 year old, she will also be bringing her phone. And then we have um, a few electronic devices and we have two Kindles and an iPad. Plus we have a DVD player in our car. So she will probably be using one of the Kindles and then um, these two will be doing the other Kindle and the iPad plus the DVD player in the car. So anyway, I can just show you really quick the things I got for my 11 year old. Um, this isn't including like her homework or a book to read or her phone, but I just picked up this pair of headphones for her. She has some already, but this is just like a backup in case hers like short out. Then I picked her up these color, this coloring book. She loves these coloring books. She has like five of them. And she already has the markers that are specifically for this kind of coloring book. So she would be bringing those to color in this. But this is just like a mini one. So it's like a travel one. Then I found her this word search um, for her to do. She likes to do word searches. And this has 153 different ones inside. So that should keep her busy. And then I found this um, spiral art set. This was in the dollar section at Target and it comes in this tin so you can keep everything contained in there and it has paper and everything ready to go to do these really neat spiral designs. I remember having something like this as a kid and I thought she would really enjoy it. And then this last thing I got her, she loves anime, her and my 16 year old do. And so I found this book on Amazon when I was ordering a few things and I thought she would just probably absolutely love this. And what she did, I actually showed her and she about died. <laughs> she is so excited to use this. Um, I haven't let her use it yet. I'm specifically saving it for the trip. And then of course when we come back home, but I just got this for her and that way she can practice drawing her animes. She's a very talented artist. Her artwork is, is amazing. And um, I'll have to show you guys some sometime. But anyway, so I got her this um, drawing guide to drawing anime so she could do that in the car as well. So those are the few things I got Ada besides her other stuff. So I will just move on to Emma and Miles's bags. Sorry, I'm going to try and do this really fast because I don't want this to be like a 20 minute long video and I want to get it up for you guys because I was going to put it up yesterday and then my day was just crazy busy. Just, oh, it was just a nightmare. So anyway, so this is the bags that they picked. Miles likes the Star Wars and Emma is obsessed with the movie Trolls right now. So she picked that one and these ones are both from the dollar section at Target. So I will just go ahead and start off with the things that are in inside of Miles' bag. This is just what it looks like inside. It just has a bunch of stuff in here. And I will just like randomly pull things out and just show you what is in there. Oh, I guess I need to take this tag off. But yeah, see, they were only a dollar. Super cheap and totally worth it. That way if they get destroyed, we could just throw them away. Anyway, so the first thing in here is just this Thomas the Train mess-free coloring book. He loves to color, loves markers, and these are perfect because then he can't color on himself or anything else. So we got that. Then the next thing in here is this um, Lay and Go Light playmat. And it's just like a cinch pouch and you can just put some toys inside of it. I got this, I'm bringing this stuff mostly for like the hotel room. So when we're there, he can play. But it's just got like some of his cars and trains and things in here that he likes to like push around and play with. 
on the floor or just wherever. So I got, I brought this to just mostly have in the hotel room because he obviously can't really play with this in the car. But so that is what is in that. Then the next thing is this Mickey Mouse Clubhouse sticker book. It's like a little activity book. It's like a uh, scene that opens up and they can put the stickers on it and he loves stickers he stickers keep him busy forever so I got him this really cute Mickey Mouse Clubhouse one and then I got him a couple of these other little sticker activity things um, we will probably save one for the car ride home but this one is just a Peppa Pig sticker book and again it's the same kind of thing just a build your own scene kind of a thing and then this one is the spider-man one and i got these all at the dollar store so super cheap and totally worth it all right so i found all of these books at the dollar store as well he loves books books he will sit and look at them forever but this is just a little it's a two-pack i haven't opened it yet of these little books from toy story so there's two in there and then I found this book as well it's called Cuddly Piglet and this belly is soft and fuzzy and then this one is called Sleepy Monster and these were all from the dollar store I am going to bring he has a couple other books in his room that have like lift the flat pages that I will throw in here as well I just haven't yet because he has been playing in his room and stuff so I will throw a couple other books in here to take as well but I do have these in there then I found this really cute little notebook it's just blank paper and I thought that he would have a fun time just you know doodling in it or he just might like flip through it like a book because sometimes he will read things that aren't even books and he thinks they are so he can either draw on it or do whatever with that then I picked up this Mr. Potato Head coloring book for him to color in in the car as well. This was also just from the dollar store. All right, and so then this next thing in here is just this. It's a little pouch from Ipsy. I have like 500 of these Ipsy pouches. And so I just grabbed one and put um, some of the twistable crayons in there for him to have. To color on these things with that way these don't melt in the car and they're just I feel like they're easier for him to handle and so there's just a bunch of twistable crayons in there for him to use inside of this pouch then there's some things some snacks in here he loves these little bites um, party cake muffins so I got him some of those and then I got some a little package of jelly beans just a baggie of the honey made Scooby snacks. He really likes those a lot. And then inside of his munchie mug, I just put some goldfish crackers and some pretzels. And I will bring the top to put on it. That way he can just, you know, fish around in there and get the kind he wants. But I just have that lid on it so that it stays fresh for now. And then I also put in here a few of these food pouches from Happy Baby and Happy Tot. For him to have in the car these are just really easy to hand to him and he can just eat them without making a big mess or needing to like be spoon fed or anything like that so those are in there as well and then the last snack items i have in his own personal bag are just a couple of these annie's fruit snacks i will be bringing more of these in the car as well but i just have those in his bag for quick and easy access but we can give him more if he needs so that is everything in his bag. Oh, and one thing I will say is we are bringing a cooler with other kinds of snacks in it, like string cheese and grapes and peanut butter sandwiches and clementines and bananas, and we're going to bring some chips, and I'm making some little monster cookie dough bites. So we'll have a ton of other food in there that he can eat. Um, we'll probably have like go -Gurts and stuff in there too. And so this is not the only food that he will be able to eat in the car. We will have other food in the car as well but this is just some of the things I just put directly in his bag that we can access really quickly if we need to so that is everything that is in his bag besides the couple other books that I will be adding last minute all right so moving on to what is in Emma's 
little troll bag here. That's all the stuff she has inside of there. So I will just do the same thing, just pull things out and show what they are. So starting off, got her this fairy garden coloring book. This was also from the dollar store. Most of the stuff I got them was from the dollar store. Some of the things I got from Target in the dollar section, but the next thing is this Minnie Mouse Dress and Play Sticker Activity book. These stickers are fun because they're the puffy ones. And she is in love with Minnie Mouse, so she's really excited to get her hands on that. And then these next two things I got duplicates of because one will be for the car ride home. But these are just like what Miles had. These are just the same make your own scene sticker book things. This one is the princess one. And then this one is the frozen one. So one of these she will have for the way out and one will be for the car ride home. And then same goes for these two things. Um, she has duplicates of these for the same reason. And these are also just the same sticker, make your own scene, book things like what Miles had in his bag as well. So she got a frozen one and a princess one again. This next thing that she has is this, it looks like it's kind of, it's like a shoots and ladders travel game, only it's snakes and ladders. And um, yeah, you just play it like shoots and ladders and it's really small so that you can play it like on your lap in the car and it comes with the movers and a dice. And so I figured she'd have fun playing with um, her siblings. Then the next thing she got is this pack of pencils. I will be splitting these in half and I will give half of them to Ada to go with her stuff and then Emma will keep the other half. They're just these pencils. They're nice, you don't have to worry about them getting you know, unsharpened. You don't have to worry about sharpening them because you just pull out the lead and replace it with another one. Then she also got one of those same little notebooks like what Miles had, only hers is a pink Horton. Here's a who. She loves this movie. So she got that to just doodle in or write because she's learning how to read and write. And then she got these headphones um, with the pineapples on them to have for when she watches her iPad. She can listen to it without everybody else having to listen to it. And then when she watches our DVD player in the car, it has its own headphones that she will use for that. But got her those. Then I found this really cute Mickey Mouse tape that I thought she could have fun decorating paper or like putting it on paper when she draws pictures um, or whatever. I thought that would be fun for her and um, Ada might even like to have one of these to have for her drawings as well. All right, so next up I got her this dry erase board and then these dry erase markers so that she can practice her letters and words. She is learning how to write sight words in kindergarten, so I thought it would be fun for her to be able to practice writing those, and then she can have these markers to do that. Then she also has one of these Lay and Go light play mats, and so she's just bringing some of her favorite little toys. She's got some um, puppies in my pocket, and some Polly Pockets, and just some other random toys in here that she can have to play with when we're at the hotel as well, like Miles, so that's what's in hers. Then this next thing that she's bringing is this like read-along book. You push whatever princess is the book you're reading and it will like read it with you. This comes with eight books, but I did not want to bring all eight books because her bag already has so much stuff and it weighs like 500 pounds. So I told her she could pick four of them. So she picked four of the books out of the set. Actually, I think she decided she was going to bring five. Oh well it's okay so she picked out those ones to take um i might just put one back though because i really only wanted to bring four because the whole sets just would be too much so she has those that she can read in the car or even at the hotel all right and then to use for like drawing or her coloring book or whatever i also have another one of my ipsy pouches and then i too just put some of her own twistable crayons in there for her to use to color in her coloring book or to draw whatever she wants to do with those. And then I also have these little gel pens. And again, she's gonna give two of these to Ada so that Ada can have a couple and then they can like swap back and forth and share the colors. But these are just the little Shopkin gel pens. So I thought those would be fun. 
And then I also am bringing these flashcards for her. These are her sight words for school. I just made these for her. That way she could study them in the car. Um, she's getting most of them. She still has a few she doesn't know. So I thought it would be a perfect opportunity for her to practice her sight words is when she's trapped in the car. So I will be bringing those along as well. And then she just has some snacks in her bag as well. She's got some goldfishies and the Scooby snacks and some pretzels. And then she also has one of those um, Little Bites muffin party cake pouches. And her own little bag of jelly beans. And then I got a box of the cinnamon applesauce. I will be bringing the extra pouches, but I just put these two in her bag. And then she has a couple of the Annie's fruit snacks as well. And like I said, we will be bringing a ton more snacks in the car. That is not everything we will be bringing. And then I will go ahead and just show you. This is, we have this huge DVD case thing that has a million movies in it. So we will be bringing this to have for the DVD player. And then she can just pick and choose a movie. Or my older kids can as well. We have some older kid movies in there too. So we have that. And then we will be bringing... Our Kindles, we have a couple Kindles, and then the iPad, and then the other Kindle. And these we can all stream movies on. They have Netflix and YouTube, and which I don't let my younger kids watch YouTube, but they can watch Netflix, or we can stream um, other shows on there as well from my phone. So they will, we will be bringing these as well as having the DVD player in the car. So. That is all the stuff that I am bringing for my younger kids to keep them entertained in the car. So if you have any questions for me, you can just leave them down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I will talk to you guys again in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.